We're here with the RMIAC athlete, Michael Fox. Um, it's her second interview. It's been a long time from the last interview, Michael. How have things been going since then? Um, things have been going pretty good, thanks. Uh, life's been good, training away, working away. All's going well at the minute. That's, that's, good. that's good to hear. Um, the London Olympics are on at the minute, obviously. It's a big talking point. But in the last interview, that was your goal. But why are you not there? Yeah, I actually um, did make the Olympics and... Uh, the Irish kit, I didn't like it at all, so I said no to them, and uh, then I decided that I would like to go and compete for Britain, but by the time I changed my mind, I had missed the flight, so I'm going to have to sit at home and just watch it on the TV this year. Oh, that's unfortunate, but there's always real, there's always real. Yeah. Uh, are many of your friends at the Olympics? You're quite a popular guy in the circuit, like. Yeah, um, actually all those people at the Olympics at the minute are all my friends. Um, if you don't believe me, check my Facebook, except those Russian fuckers. They wouldn't accept my friend request, but apart from that, everyone else is my friend, yeah. That's popular, gay. Okay. In the last interview, you said that you wanted to get up to a massive seven night a week. Did you Did you ever achieve that? Unfortunately, I didn't, know. I got up to five and a half mile a week for three weeks, which was very, very good and very demanding on the body, but uh, I broke down and I got injured, so I had to just start from scratch, but I'll get up to seven eventually, yeah. Yeah, working three days a week, I don't know how you'd run seven. Um, I believe you got a sponsorship deal lately. You had an Adidas one, but you changed that. Can you elaborate? Yes, I gave up my Adidas contract because um, they won't give me enough. They only give me four or five pairs of trainers a month and a bit of kit and stuff like that there. Um, I got a new sponsorship from a company called Cadbury's. Um, basically, they give me 18 bags of these here a day. and These are these are pretty good eating, to be honest. Um, this is their, their London 2012 uh, pack here. So we'll do a bit of promotion work while I'm here, but um, that's my new contract at the minute and who, who, who I'm with, yeah. Sounds good. Um, I believe you took part in a Guinness World Record. I've seen it in the papers, but what was the actual record you're going for? I did indeed, yeah. Um, it's going on in my local town. It's uh, They're trying to run a 3,000 mile relay in 18 days. Um, to be honest, I said I could do the 3,000 mile in three days by myself if I wanted. But uh, we we'll have to let a, a number of people take part, and all the local town all be part of it as well, you know. Yeah. So. Um. Who are you looking forward to seeing most at the Olympics, the London Olympics? Um. Looking forward, probably Paula Radcliffe. To be honest, yeah. Yeah. Um. Michael, Paula's not running. What? Yeah, she got injured. It was all over the papers. She she can't run. Is is this a joke? No. Um. No. I have two thousand pound in her. Is this a wind up? No. She, no. She. You won't get that money back. Look, I'll have to have a word with her. Look, she, she'll change her mind. Don't count her out just yet. She'll change her mind. She won't right, that's, that's good. Um, um, you're going away in a few weeks. Where are you going and why are you going there? I am, yes. I'm going to a wee island off New Zealand. Uh, it's it's uh, called Australia. Um, to be honest, my main reason for going there is to find Craig Mottram. I'm going to hunt down Craig Mottram and interview him and ask him where the hell he's been for the last few years. And uh, that's my main target, yeah. Like the last interview, we're going to go for our 10 quick fire questions and just answer as quick as you can. Sound, okay. Right, so your favourite food? Uh, lettuce. Uh, your favourite distance? 30 mile. Why? Um, you see, over 30 mile, you get to uh, eat during the run and I love my eating, so 30 mile would be nice, yeah. Uh, your favourite movie? Uh, Forrest Gump, because uh, that, that movie's kind of based around myself, so it is. Who's the, most per who's the most famous person you've ever met and why are they famous? Hey, most famous person I even met, Terry Green. He's a man from uh, Northern Ireland and he is famous for running. His main session before race was 200, 400 in 54 seconds with just 30 seconds recovery in his bare feet. Cool. Um, you've been around the world training with different groups, but who is the one training group that you can relate to most or you like the most? Um, the training group I'd like the most... A uh, very good group up in Belfast, they're on the Striders, um, but fuck, they take things way too serious, so they do. So my favourite group, other than my own club, would probably have to be uh, the Liverpool Harriers, good good club over there. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, if you were going to get a tattoo, what would it be? Oh, fuck. I couldn't see me getting any, any tattoos, but uh, if I was to get one, I'd probably get the Olympic rings, because everybody seems to have it these days, like, so I'd probably get that there. Nice. Uh, what's your favourite form of transport? But uh, Dermot's Jag, Dermot's Jag doesn't go below 180 miles an hour, just doesn't, right? And if you say go past, 
try and look at the number plate. The number plate says Deco 5 Run, but whew, doesn't go below 180, so that's my favourite, yeah. Any other sport from running, what would it be? Uh, probably archery, because you can't beat a man with a good bow. And uh, your favourite holiday? My favourite holiday? Oh, I uh, went to a 10 miler in Cork one time with my coach, and that was, that was probably my favourite holiday I've ever had, yeah. Interesting. Michael, until the next time, we're off.